Today we'll be unboxing and taking a look at all the system components in the RPS T400. Start off by using a knife to cut through the tape on the top and sides of the box. Inside of the box, the first component you'll find is 20 feet of solar wire with MC4 connectors on either end. Next, you'll find two individually packaged 100 foot sensor wires. This is for the well low and tank full sensors. The next item that you'll unbox is the pump splice kit. This will have everything you need to connect the pump wire to the pump. Along with these solar cables, you'll also find two Y connectors, one with dual female ends and one with dual male ends. Now let's take a look at the plumbing that comes with your T400. You'll find three stainless steel hose clamps and your hose barb. Inside, you'll also find the sensor splice kit. This is for splicing your sensors. Next, you'll find the full color RPS solar pump manual with an insert specifically for the T400 system. The next sealed package will have your grounding lug as well as some self-tapping screws. Now, we'll take a look at the pump that comes with the system. Your T400 will come securely wrapped in styrofoam. Feel free to remove the styrofoam with a knife. Then remove the T400 from the plastic bag. The T400 pump weighs 22 pounds and is capable of producing 4,500 gallons per day. The system has a one inch inlet and a one inch outlet. The wires coming off of the pump have been pre-crimped for you. You will also find mounting holes on the base of the pump, which will help increase stability. Next, we'll look at the brains of the operation, the RPS Universal Pump Controller. The RPS Universal Pump Controller comes with pre-connected MC4 connectors on the bottom that will connect to your solar panels. And that's a look at all of the system components inside of the T400 and 800 systems. If you like solar powered content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. We're putting out new content every week.